Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best Razer mice in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. Number 5. Razer Viper Mini Much like the Razer Death Adder Mini, it takes the best gaming mouse for shooters and shrinks it down to size. As a baby version of the full-fat alternative, it's kind of sweet, but that doesn't mean it's any lesser. Much of what makes the Razer Viper great is present here. The Viper is unlike anything else Razer is offering right now. Instead of the smooth, complete shell you'd see on the likes of the Razer Naga left-handed edition or the Razer Death out of E2, it's split into multiple parts via a cutout down the middle. Razer, as you may know, have been pushing their new optical mouse switches with their recent releases, and if you knew that, you probably also know that these have been somewhat polarising in the community. Yes, the added durability is great, and in theory, the faster response time is awesome too, but they did have to sacrifice a lot of that satisfying crispiness that you get with a traditional mechanical switch in order to get those response times and durability ratings. At least, at first. This Viper Mini isn't just a scaled-down version of the regular Viper, it's also very much an attempt by Razer to get into that budget mouse market. For this reason, the Mini doesn't house the usual Razer Focus Plus, its over 9000 DPI kind of sensor, but just a regular variation of the 3359. If you want the best gaming mouse but don't fancy spending loads on it and aren't fussed about having the fastest draw in the West, the Razer Viper Mini is an excellent choice. Number 4. Razer Basilisk V2 For those that always seek the most ergonomic packages in the market, I would recommend the Razer Basilisk V2. This is one of the sharpest designs from Razer in a while, coming in as a very comfortable package, a nice and innovative thumb button named Clutch, superb gaming performance and it's a step up from its predecessor. One thing that got me started with this mouse is that it felt pretty sturdy and solid right from the get-go, thanks to its sturdy plastic construction. On each side, the Razer Basilisk V2 has a set of patterned grips that help you get a better grip, and on top of that, they feel pretty good. Moving on, I should say that the ergonomics of this mouse are pretty much unprecedented in Razer's lineup, and I can say that it delivers a super comfortable experience overall. It has a max DPI of 20,000, which is super sensitive and accurate, and it might feel a little off for those that are not accustomed to it. In terms of features, the Razer Basilisk V2 is packed with tons of them. However, my favourite one is the five onboard profiles, which deliver a great experience for those that go to tournaments and LAN parties. The Razer Synapse 3 software is also used to its maximum here, since you can set up different profiles there and also customise the lighting effects of the device. Number 3. Razer Naga Pro the Razer Naga Pro can be intimidating. It offers three interchangeable panels with 20 buttons between them, and it couldn't be clearer that this is a high-performance gaming mouse. The headliners of the Razer Naga Pro are, of course, those swappable panels. There are three in total, a standard two-button affair like the Razer Death Alla V2, a numbered MMO section that's similar to the Corsair Scimitar RGB Elite, and a smaller numbered section for MOBAs. This offers plenty of flexibility. It's a sense of freedom heightened by the fact that the whole thing can be used wirelessly via Razer's own hyperspeed technology, which claims to be 25% faster than any other wireless gaming tech. Crucially, you don't have to cut the cord either. If you'd rather stick to the cable, you can simply plug in the braided Speedflex USB wire. Naturally, it takes a while to get used to. When you initially pick up the Naga Pro, it feels odd underhand. It has an unusual shape that's a departure from the Razer Viper or the Death Adder's sleek design. Namely, it has a bulbous extra section on the right flank that jots out. Despite what you might think, however, this is actually very comfortable. If your budget can stretch to it, the Razer Naga Pro is the ultimate gaming mouse and the best wireless gaming mouse by quite a way. It offers utility, clever upgrades and best-in-class tech. I started out sceptical, but I'm now a total convert. Number 2. Razer Death Adder V2 Pro Moving on, we have the Death Adder V2 Pro. The design of gaming hardware tends to trend towards excess. We're seeing more buttons and more RGB lights housed within a shell that's all harsh plastic edges. For years, it felt like to truly justify a mouse or keyboard as a gaming device, it had to look far divorced from a tool of productivity. But recently, gaming hardware manufacturers are taking a step back, realising that what really matters in the best gaming mouse is the performance, not the look. 
The Razer Death Adder V2 Pro is a follow-up to the Razer Death Adder V2 released earlier this year. That mouse crammed Razer's new Focus Plus optical sensor into its best-selling shell, creating a mouse that just worked. Underneath the scroll wheel are two recessed buttons that change the CPI settings by default. Out of the box, the Death Adder V2 Pro can be connected to your PC with the included 6-foot Razer Speedflex cable with a braided cloth exterior that screams premium. The Death Adder V2 Pro offers three options for connectivity, and you can swap between them via the switch on the bottom. Walking into another room in my apartment, the connection became a little spotty, but for those gaming in the living room, the Death Adder V2 Pro will keep you covered. Razer touts up to 120 hours battery life without RGB lighting using the Bluetooth connection. The Death Adder V2 Pro fits like a glove on normal to large size hands and performs like a champ. Playing first person shooters feels amazing. Number 1. Razer Viper Ultimate Hyperspeed On top of the list we have a super attractive premium high-end gaming mouse that delivers some amazing performance, the Razer Viper Ultimate Hyperspeed. This mouse might be a little expensive, but it is a high-performance wireless package that'll deliver a lot for its price. It has a battery life that lasts quite some time, it's pretty light as a package, and it comes with an impressive sensor. The company has put a lot of effort into making the Razer Viper Ultimate the best high-performance esports wireless gaming mouse, and it's done quite a job, and its biggest trick here is the hyperspeed technology. This technology is very different from Bluetooth that's used in the majority of wireless peripherals, and it comes at a 25% better performance than other wireless technologies. This mouse boasts an excellent polling rate of 998 Hz consistently, meaning that you won't have to sacrifice any performance by cutting the wire. The Razer Viper Ultimate also is packed with the superb Focus Plus optical sensor that has the highest DPI sensitivity available right now, featuring a DPI of 20,000, establishing itself as the penultimate most sensitive gaming mouse in the market. If you want a wireless mouse that can handle your professional gaming sessions without any interruption or drop in performance, look no further, as the Razer Viper Ultimate is your best bet. Buying Guide Firstly, Size and Shape most gaming mice look straight out of a space battle, some of them even of great LED lights, but it's more important that the best gaming mouse for small hands is not too big. A proper mouse for small hands means that you're able to access the buttons without too much contorting. Also, you have to be able to play long hours without getting hand cramps. Look for ergonomic designs and thumb rests. Secondly, wired or wireless. The rule of thumb for gamers is that you go with a wired mouse if you want a trustworthy mouse for gaming. The wired connection makes sure you don't get data transmission issues such as lags. At home, wireless gaming doesn't make as much sense. However, if you're a constant traveller, then a wireless mouse makes more sense. You just need to check the quality of the wireless connection and the battery life. And thirdly, play styles. The gaming mouse requirements depend on the type of game that you play. Consequently, the game that you intend to play will determine the features that you consider the most important for your gaming mouse. For example, RTS and MMO gamers will require additional buttons that can be assigned to alternative functions and macros compared to FPS gamers who focus on accuracy and quick tracking.